Uh, chapter 2, the basic concepts of set theory. So now we're moving in the direction of things that may be new. We're getting kind of away from the algebra. Uh, and we're looking at sets. We're going to use sets to build uh, to uh, build conceptual understanding of things like Venn diagrams, uh, intersections, um, exclusivity uh, in sets, and then we're going to turn those uh, concepts uh, towards logic, logical statements, uh, in chapter three. And, and so this this set theory stuff. Uh, is going to be a good introduction to something a little bit more difficult uh, in chapter 3. So today we're just going to start with the symbols and the terminology, chapter section 2-1. Okay, just an introduction to sets, what, what it's going to look like, how we're going to deal with it. When we're designing sets, a set is just a collection of objects. You will hear me talk about sets, sets like grocery carts. Okay, uh, what's in your grocery cart? What's in your set? The objects belonging to the set are called elements. So whatever's in your grocery cart are your elements. We call those things elements or members of the set. Uh, there are three types of ways that we designate a set. We can have a word description. We can have the listing method. And we can have the set builder notation. You will see all three of these, but number two is the one that we will probably deal with the most where we are just listing things, especially when we do intersections uh, and exclusivity. Okay? Uh, so an example of a word description, the set of even counting numbers less than 10. That would be a set of numbers. Okay? We can think of those. Uh, typically, if we think of the set of even counting numbers less than 10, we go right into the listing method. We would think, well, that must be 2, 4, 6, and 8. 10 is not included because 10 is not less than 10. But these are all of the even counting numbers less than 10. And notice in our listing method to designate it as a set, we include this uh, bracket here. Make sure uh, you're including your bracket to show that it's a set. It's not just a, it's uh, not just 2468 with commas. It's a set 2468. And then our set builder notation uh, gets uh, is kind of setting you up for some more advanced math. You'll see this set builder notation. You'll see it here too, but it's not. Uh, uh, it's not going to beat on you. Uh, what we're going to typically deal with is this listing method. And how this goes is we have our set brackets. So, uh, and, and what this says is an element x uh, uh, such that, this vertical bar means such that, x is an even counting number less than 10. Okay. Uh, sets are commonly given names. The names of a set are in capital letters. The elements in a set are lowercase letters. So I could have the set B. B would be called capital B. Could have an element B. That element would be lowercase. Notice the names of a set are capitalized. The elements in a set are lowercase. The set containing no elements is called the empty or the null set. It's denoted by brackets with nothing in it or a zero with a line through it. Okay, do not, uh, if you're talking about the empty set, do not do not have the set zero, or don't write zero. You have to put a zero with a line through it. Empty is different than zero, okay? Understand that uh, empty is different than zero. All right, uh, to show two is an element uh, of set A, we use the symbol, this kind of E-looking thing, okay? The three bars here. All right, we use this symbol. So 2 is an element of the set 1, 2, 3, 4. We see it right here. We're okay with that. Check her off. Good. Here, A is not in the set, is not an element in the set of 1, 2, 3, 4. So we make this symbol, and then we put a line through it to negate it. Okay? So here we have 2 is an element of the set. A is not an element of the set. All right, uh, give a complete listing of all the elements of the set X such that X is a natural number between 3 and 8. So we know that our natural numbers have that whole number feel, that, those integers. Between 3 and 8, between would, set, would tell me that it's not including 3. So we would go to 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we would stop before 8 because we went between 3 and 8. And then I make my brackets. That would be our listing method, okay? 
four, five, six, seven. Cardinality. So this will be our first type of mathematical idea in this uh, chapter. The number of elements in a set is called the cardinal number or cardinality of the set. The symbol N parentheses A, A being the set A. Uh, so the cardinality of A is read N of A. If you see N parentheses A, that's N of A, represents the cardinal number of set A, the number of elements in set A. So if we wanted to find the cardinal number of each set, uh, we have set K here, it has A, L, G, E, B, R. So the cardinality, N, of K is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because I have 6 uh, elements in the set K. The cardinality of N, M, sorry. So N of M is just 1. We have 1 element. Notice I'm not putting my answer in a set notation. It's just strictly a number. Cardinality is strictly a number. How many elements are in the empty set? Ns of the empty set would be zero. There's zero elements in the empty set. Okay, and we see that here in our solutions. Okay, so cardinality is just the number of elements. Finite and infinite sets. If the cardinal number of a set is a particular whole number, we call that a finite set, meaning there's a countable number. Finite means there's a countable number. Now, it might be a very large number. It might take a very long time to count that finite number of elements, but if it is countable, then it is finite. Whenever a set is so large that its cardinal number is not found among the whole numbers, we call that infinite set. It's a very easy way to, to, to distinguish between finite and infinite. If we have a set that starts with dot, 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 uh, and then maybe minus 2, minus 1, 0, uh, and then 1, and then ends, this dot, 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 uh, going back to our interval notation, would be, like, would be like saying it starts with negative infinity. It starts clear back here. We can keep counting backwards. It's included in the set, uh, but we would count forever. Okay, It never stops. Same thing on the right side, maybe we talk about well, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. That dot, dot, dot would say it's going on for infinity. So these would be infinite sets. A finite set might can still have the dot, 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 but maybe it stops at 100. So there's some closure there. We're not going to list 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 100. The dot, dot, dot uh, tells us that uh, everything is included between here, um, but we're stopping at 100. So it is countable, so it is finite. This would be finite, these two would be infinite. Okay? The odd counting numbers are an infinite set. So the word description would be the set of all odd, odd counting numbers. The listing would be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, then that dot, 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 counting to uh, infinity forever. Uh, and then set builder notation would be our bracket x such that x is an odd counting number. Equality of sets. Set A is equal to set B provided the following two conditions are met. So both conditions must be met. Every element of A is an element of B and every element of B is an element of A. So all of A has to be included in B and all of B has to be included in A. Let's do an example. State whether the sets in each pair are equal. So we test, are all the elements in A and B? Well, A is in this one, and A is in the second one. B is in this one, B is in the second one. C is in this one, C is in the second one. D is in this one, D is in the second one. Then I have to check, are all the elements in this set in this set? Well, A is in the, uh, an element in this set and in this set. B or C is an element in this set, C is an element in this set, D is an element in this set, and this set, and then B and B. So yes, they are equal. We're okay here. Okay? Let's check example B. Are they equal? Well, is 2 an even number? Yes, so we're okay here. Is 4 an even number? Yes. Is 6 an even number? Yes. So all of this set is contained in here, but now I have to check is all of this set contained here, if we're talking about even numbers, 2 
Yes. Four. Yes. Six. Yes. Eight. No. Eight's not contained in the set. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. And we could go on and on to infinity that are not included in this set. So on the second one, we would say, no, they are not equal. Okay? So A, yes, the order of the elements are not the same, but that does not matter. And then B, it's no, 2, 4, 6 does not represent all of the even numbers. So that's a quick introduction to what you're going to see in 2.1. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.